okay? <clears throat> so we created a follower, and now I'm going to, as she goes away from the position of heel, I'm going to use my beep continuously, beep, 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 until she gets back into position, then it turns off. Uh, the other option I have is stim the whole time, and beeps here and there. Uh, but I've been doing beep, 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 beep until they get there with, with a correction if needed, if they're not moving. Okay, look. Good, All right? So in the beginning, you can just walk in a straight line because your dog's going to go everywhere. Eventually, the straight line becomes easy and you have to kind of maneuver to set them up, right? Like set them from going. There's a correction, and then the beep. So like the e-call correction first, eye contact, beep, 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 boom, you're there. That's another option you can do if you don't want to do a health step. Good. That's my girl. Why is it so cool healing a small dog like that, like a tight heel? It feels, it feels interesting. <laughs> see? Good girl. See? Good girl. Good girl. That's good. Look. This is why I love this stuff, because she has to have her brain on. She has to think. Good girl. She's used to going into autopilot, which is easy. So now when somebody challenges her, she, she doesn't know how to think without using the commands she knows, right? She'll give you a sit, she'll give you a down, but she doesn't know how to think without them, right? So Pretty nice to film. Break. Good. 